Okay, guys, we're here at Tuna Evil SoCal 2024. We got Dan over here from X Comp Tires. Dan, tell me how, what's going on. Yeah, I mean, this is my first time here at Tuna Revolution. Super stoked so far. Great turnout. So, you know, glad to be a part of it. Awesome, awesome. Dan, tell me what's uh, what's your what's your background? What what do you do inside the inside X Comp? So X Comp, I'm the X Comp brand manager. So I do everything from social media, marketing to sales, and uh, you know, building the brand where we think it needs to be. Yeah, awesome, awesome, and. Uh, the guys from X Comp were actually, uh, and Dan also, they were actually in Puerto Rico in the a Racing Expo this year. Tell me, tell me about that. How, how was that? Yeah, that was my first time in Puerto Rico. I really never knew how the car culture was down there, and I was blown away at the quality, um, whether it be, you know, top of the line Mugen Honda builds all the way to the brand new GT3 RS from Porsche. I never knew such a small location would have that much prominent vehicles. So, yeah, yeah. thoroughly impressed. Uh, Burgos Tire, a distributor down there, we're extremely close with them feels like family and we knew we had to be a part of that. Um, so my first time w w was shocking to say the least about the passion that you guys have down there for the automotive world. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you met you met, uh, you met met Victor, right? Victor Madera? Yep, of course. You met him? Yep, Victor Madera, amazing guy. We want to stand behind him. We, apart, we uh, you know, support him as family now. He's gonna be drifting on our X-Comp HP. Yeah. He's running, I believe, a 265-35-18 on his uh, S14. So we're excited to see how he does this coming season, but we're getting more into the drifting world. Yeah, Victor. Victor's a big influence inside uh, Dominican drifting. Yes. And all around the Caribbean. Yes. He's a PR Pro Drift champion. He was a champion in Puerto Rico. Correct. He's been champion in Dominican Republic. I think Costa Rica too. Correct. So uh, Victor's been around for, for, for a long time. And that was my first time meeting him. I knew he wanted to go after, you know, a good person as a whole, but also yeah. a great driver. We found him and said, you know, let's get on board together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Victor. I, I met Victor back in... Uh, Back in like 20, 2013, 2014, he, he, uh, they came to Puerto Rico. They brought like five cars from the Dominican Republic. Wow. And we had like a like a collaboration event, Puerto Ricans versus the uh, Dominican Republic. Yep. And it was really fun. And, and since then, uh, they've always collaborated with our local uh, drift series. Right now, we, we lost our local drift series because of the pandemic. We're trying okay. to get it back. Yes. But uh, we did a couple of years of drifting in Puerto Rico where we had we had uh, Dominicans coming and drifting over here, and we had Puerto Ricans going over there drifting. Got it. So, so a nice we, little combination between the two. Exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, Victor's been a, a, bit, a big part of uh, the drifting scene in Puerto Rico. So I, re I really appreciate it. Every time, every time he comes to Puerto Rico, we hang out. I, I actually uh, interviewed him about, like, I think it was like six months ago. He no came, way. He came to Puerto Rico like a couple of months before uh, before racing expo. Yeah. Well, next time yeah. you see him, let him know. You know, we say hi, and I'm hoping to get down for Tuna Revolution in Puerto Rico in a couple of months or a couple of weeks, whenever it is. But I think we're gonna hop on board and do that one too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, I was gonna ask you, are you guys, what what what, what are you guys' plans with the with the new with the new tire? Because like yep. like you like we were saying, you guys were. Uh, you guys were originally f more focused on like off-road and all that? So yeah, so when new... XCOMP got started, we got into that off-road space. Um, and then we got into the exotic car fitment. So the Porsche, Lamborghini, Ferrari stuff. Yeah, 19s. Exactly, 20s, 19s, 20s, 21s. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you know, the mass market is in that 18, 17 sweet spot. Yeah. So we just launched our 18-inch, four core sizes, 245, 40, 265, 35, 275, 35, and a 315, 30. Um, and we just raced Super Lap Battle down in Coda, Circuit of the Americas. Did a phenomenal job there in a GT3. We did a 221 lap time was the best speed, um, which was great. You know, first time out there. And this year we're going to tackle Pikes Peak Hill Climb at the end of June. Okay. Famous race, obviously the clouds. Uh, we have two Subaru drivers we want to work with, and we're very excited to kind of build the brand on our new 200 Treadwear HP tire. Okay. Okay. Yep. And you got you guys got any other drifters that you guys support? Right now, that's really our only. Uh, Victor's our only main guy right okay. now. But we're looking to really support more grassroots stuff. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if anyone's interested, you know, please give us a shout. XComp underscore tires on Instagram. And uh, we're always looking to support grassroots, passionate people. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm actually part of the organization that does local grassroots events in Puerto Rico. Amazing. I've been in the game since like 2012. So okay. I, I, I was helping when they were, doing, they were doing the comps. Yeah. So that's why, I, I, that's why I've seen Victor so many times. I've always been part of the staff. Yep. I've always been part of the drivers also. Of course. Uh, but since we don't have a... Uh, an official pro series in Puerto Rico right, right. now. Then we have we have more of this uh, grassroots scene. Yeah, different events. We're, you know, we, you run out little tracks. We've been in it for like, our organization like, been in it for like three years. Okay. We do events at a local track called Arecibo Motorsports. Yep. Uh, they they open the doors for us, and uh, it's been great. The community is growing every time. We're getting like 50, 60 drivers per event. So that's phenomenal. So it's growing. It's growing. I'm 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 planning right now to start venturing myself, maybe Dominican Republic, maybe yep. Florida. Yep. So I'm looking into that. 
and uh, mm. and yeah, it's awesome to see uh, companies like you guys supporting grassroots well, ventures. So. We're privately held, uh, you know, one single family owner. So it's a very nice, tight knit company that we work for. I've worked for a couple other tire manufacturers, bigger corporations, yeah, you know, bigger, widespread brands people have heard of. Um, and being now at a smaller company that really understands how to build and really kind of grow in the community it's way better off and I, I love it where we're going and I think the trajectory is just about to burst and we're having really good uh, confidence with where we're going awesome awesome yeah well Dan thank you for your time thank you so it was much awesome thank you guys for listening Dan uh, tell them what are your, what are your socials yeah so at Instagram xcomp underscore tires uh, and I'm tire man Dan so tire.man.dan you guys have any questions looking for discount codes shoot us a message and then again if you're in uh, puerto rico check out burgos tire they have everything you need awesome awesome thank you so much dan thank you so much brother. and thank you guys for listening we're gonna be here all day so don't go anywhere